Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. Well, incredible to some and maybe not to others. I know who you are. Anyway, just a short video here, kind of something that uh, I do before I work out. Uh, you should always have a little bit of a pre-workout now whether it's going to be food or a shake or a smoothie or something along them lines or just a scoop of some sort of supplement which i don't recommend that much but uh, i choose to eat a little something because i don't eat a whole lot and uh, i like to have something going on now i made a video before about my little pre-workout meal that i do uh, half a cup of oats and some whey protein and use my whey protein. This is whey protein I use. I don't have a lot of calories. So, you know, when you try to watch your calories, you got to look at everything. So, uh, yep, yeah, today's leg day, guys. A lot of people don't like leg day. For me, it's one of my favorite days. Leg and back are two of my favorite workout days. And then this here, I've showed you before, of course, I put about a tablespoon of this in. I found this at my local Kroger. It may be a little bit more than a tablespoon. I don't measure it out, so. You know, we're close. Uh, I got I got a sweet potato going in my air fryer. I'm gonna have ham tonight. I don't typically eat a lot of ham and stuff during the week, but I'm gonna have me some ham. Uh, it's still good. It's got protein. It's good for you. It ain't gonna kill you in moderation. So I'm gonna have me some ham tonight and a sweet potato and that's probably about it. I don't wanna overdo it too much. So uh, this video isn't necessarily about my little pre-workout and what I'm eating tonight. It's kind of about what I do before I work out. And uh, you know, what works for me. So what works for me is having a nice uh, pre-workout meal. Some banana goes in there as well. well I'm going to show you something else. get my stuff put up here and as far as supplements go I don't do a lot of supplements all I do is whey protein some other people do amino acids and creatine and other stuff like that L-glutamine or whatever and other things and then harder more not so good things so but anyhow let me show you a little something that I do uh, sometimes before I work out. This here is basically called a TENS therapy machine. Cheap, about $60. And they have many things that looks like this to full size plug-in models and everything in between. Uh, this one only comes with two pads and uh, some of them come with four, six, eight, whatever. How dare you beep, you son of a, son of a beep. Ah. <laughs> anyway, so since today's leg day, and I don't really stress my back on leg day, but I do like to take precautions. So I like to put these on and uh, they just stick on. They have a gel, a gel uh, pad that sticks. And I just put them 
kind of randomly where I kind of want to stimulate a little bit of muscle, a little bit of uh, some blood flow and kind of get things stimulated and going. That's what she said. And uh, of course, you, if you watch my videos, you know I'm nursing kind of a, a little bit more aggravated back than normal. But it is over the past few days since Friday, it's started subsiding a little bit and it's not bad. Uh, it, there is just still discomfort at moments. But uh, so not only do I do this, which uh, we'll get turned on here in just a second. Make sure these are on good. But, and don't look at my booty. We also do ice. And yeah, it's in a garbage bag. I got it in three, in three Ziploc bags, but for some reason they're still leaking. As you can tell, there's some water right there. We don't want that sticking in us. So, anyway, put it in here. And uh, make sure it's wound up like so. And I'll go and I'll sit at my computer chair and it helps to keep everything nice and compressed up against my skin. And it uh, helps to get my back ready to be uh, under stress, which is not technically under stress. If you, you know, if you've ever worked out, you know that really it's not under a lot of stress, but uh, especially with a Smith machine and a leg press, that you, you don't really put your body under a lot of stress, so. Anyway, I uh, just kind of wanted to share my little routine that I do and uh, some little tips maybe along the way to help you uh, maybe take care of your back and uh, help things out. Ice is good for inflammation and uh, that's what you're told to use more so than heat. Heat, you don't want to put heat on anything that inflames. Heat is more of a relaxer. You want to kind of relax yourself in the evenings maybe heat or something but like for inflammation for trauma stuff like that uh, you want to go with ice so anyway I'm gonna eat my pre meal my, my pre my pre meal this is my this is my pre meal to my meal actually kind of is but I'm gonna eat my pre-workout and uh, let this sit in my stomach and get me going and in about 20 minutes which is really all the time you need to have these things going I'll be ready to go and hit the uh, legs today with some Smith machine squats and a uh, hack press so guys I hope you found this a little bit helpful a uh, little bit of uh, inside of what I do uh, to help kind of take care of myself so anyway like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beatdown and uh, be an inspiration to yourself and to someone else today. And uh, don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And take care of yourself. Uh, be happy, healthy, and awesome. All right? We'll see you all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it.